If you'd like to help me make games, please consider donating to my Patreon. Links in the description. Hey guys, some gamer dude here. So it's that time again, time for Chrono Clash spoilers. I'm going to change how I'm tackling Chrono Clash. I'll do videos about the new mechanics and any cards I find particularly interesting, then make a video per deck when Bandai posts up all of the cards. I'm just a bit busy and can't take massive amounts of time out for spoiler season. I don't know when I'll get to review the Naruto expansions since the distributor is super slow and the stores have to order entire displays. I have to find a store that is okay with that, or find a store ordering product already. Bandai posted up the manual for these Naruto expansions a few days ago, about a week ago I think from when I'm posting this, and there are a few things to discuss. First off, not all the icons are here, including ones on the cards in these sets. This is likely because these sets are an expansion to the Naruto core sets, they presume you have the original manual, and know how icons such as recovery work. Priority was given to the new mechanics, and those carried over from Godzilla. It's interesting we haven't seen Sneak Attack yet, but I suspect there is either a reason, or it's really limited in scope here. So, we have two new mechanics, Transform and Time Threshold. We'll start with Transform. Transform is indicated by a battler icon with two swirling arrows around it. To be really honest, I was expecting dual-faced cards with that icon. With Transform, you can bounce an untapped battler without summoning sickness to summon the battler with Transform, attacking at cost. If it has any enter or battle abilities, they trigger. On surface, this sounds like a rebalanced and kinda worse sneak attack. Yeah, it doesn't die, but it's much slower, costs more, and does the whole comes out attacking even if your opponent has time thing sneak attack does. The slowness is the crux of the issue, as unless your initial battle has fast and you have extra time after summoning it, you have to wait a turn, but I don't think that's the point. There is something a bit more strategic about transform, enter abilities. You can summon something with a great enter ability, bounce it for transform, and then use the enter ability a second time. Or on cards like Hashirama Senju here, the card you bounced can be used for toughness, meaning you get added value out of it. I still have reservations about the slowness, Chrono Clash is a super fast game, but I like Transform much more than Sneak Attack, and if Sneak Attack is retired, I'm happy with Transform taking its place. Just a note on Sneak Attack before we go on. There are a lot of complaints about Sneak Attack, I've yet to experience it, but I'm well aware. If anything happens about Sneak Attack, it'll probably be in Evangelion. These Naruto expansions were probably finalised before the problems the community had with Sneak Attack came to light. But I wonder if that just means Sneak Attack will be quietly retired rather than changed. In addition to Transform, we have Time Threshold. Time threshold is indicated by a blue time circle with a value and an equal to or greater than symbol. It is attached to enter abilities, and if you give your opponent that much time or more, you get to use the ability a second time. Obvious and great synergy with transform, bounce it, use two more enter abilities for maximum value. This one is really dependent on whether you can reach the time and the skill is worth using twice, but I think there is good potential here like the Naruto I'm showing here. It's worth the time threshold because it starts wiping your opponent's board of weenies. I don't have much else to say about time threshold because it's not such an interesting ability with lots of implications, but I really do like it. So there are two cards shown I want to talk about because they're quite interesting. One is one of my favourite characters and covers issues I've had with game design. The other is just good design, utilising a mechanic for a card synergistic with its own icons. I've called out an issue with Chrono Clash before. I think the game is too fast and lacks good defensive options. I don't like how Sentinel is tacked on aggressive cards. They are regularly too pricey for jump blockers. Then one of my favourite girls comes and fixes a lot of the issues single-handedly. Shizune is a 1 strength 2 cost battler with Sentinel, a death trigger to give another battle a Sentinel, and a shield trigger to flat out forbid a battler from attacking. Shizune is literally everything I wanted. She's cheap to summon, has a death trigger, and a worthwhile one. The only way she can get better is a tap ability, but there are cards that can cause her to become tough. She's aces in my books. Dev team, Ryan, more of this thanks! Less Tobirama. Then we have Tuyuya of the Sound 4. She's a 2 strength battler for 3 with the dreaded Last Stand ability. So she gains plus 3 when she attacks, but dies afterwards. It was a crap mechanic back in the Naruto starter decks, but Tuyuya makes it worth it with a death trigger. When she dies, she takes a 3 cost or less out with her. Added value. Just what Last Stand needed. She's taking you with her. She also gets a similar ability as a shield trigger, 3 strength or less, which has vastly less targets. 
I like these new designs where the effects are better understood. It partially makes me concerned that Godzilla and Naruto came out half-baked, especially Godzilla, but things are turning out for the best. I'm liking where the set is going. So that's it for today's video. If any more cards of interest turn up, I'll discuss those. Otherwise, when Bandai shows off everything, I'll be making two big long videos discussing every card. This has been some Gamer Dude, and thanks for watching.